Uh, my name is Gergő Barnabalaj. I'm a Hungarian lawyer originally from Budapest, where I have recently completed law school at Ötvös Lorán University or Elta University. I'm currently pursuing an LLM, more precisely a Magister Juris in Public International Law at uh, the University of Oxford. I have been fascinated by international law since 2018, when I took part in the JESSAP competition, where we won uh, the best memorial award with my team. Since then, I have worked as a research assistant on a variety of projects at uh, various institutes, such as at the Max Planck Institute in Heidelberg, or more recently at the Autonomous University of Madrid. And I've also worked with uh, the trade division of the Hungarian Ministry of Foreign Affairs. My research interest encompasses a range of issues, including the sources of law, the settlement of international disputes and international law. And I had recently finished a project on the use of force, the results of which have been published with my longtime mentor, Professor Gabor Koitar, on, uh, uh, in, on the pages of the EGIL. My EGIL journey started in 2019 when I decided as a student that I want to get to know the European community of international lawyers. And I almost immediately got a chance to work directly uh, with the organization, as in the spring of 2019, my university hosted an easel sponsored event on the secondary rules of international law, the proceedings of which have just been published with the easel book series. And I got the chance to assist in the organization and the addition of that volume and the conference as well. So it was a great experience and motivated me to get more involved with the society. These experiences led me to think that a similar structure could benefit uh, EASIL as well. And uh, when uh, the EASIL board in its newsletter indicated a year ago that they are thinking about establishing a similar structure, I contacted them with my ideas and I got the chance to brainstorm with them about what has now became the EASIL uh, Early Career Network. I've also applied to the com coordinating committee of this initiative where I got selected in the spring of 2022. I applied there because of the reason that I think it's very important to have some kind of support mechanism to help students and early career researchers and professionals to meet others and form personal and professional networks and make connections from all around Europe and the world and also to have a possibility to develop the skills which can be useful in the world of international law and academia. As a student from Central and Eastern Europe, it's my perspective that the world of international law and the international law academia can be quite daunting. It's an international environment which is highly competitive and sometimes seems to be a bit exclusive, requiring certain linguistic competencies and academic qualifications, not to mention some financial aspect. But I hope that initiatives such as this can help us uh, bridging gaps and helping the professional developments of scholars and uh, early career researchers from all around Europe. The first thing is that I think it's very important to be active in our communities in general, and especially in ESIL, even if uh, you are a student or an early career researcher, because this is an organization which is a joint venture of all of us, and we should have our say and have our participation in events as well to form uh, the future of it and for us to get the most out of it as well. So uh, don't be afraid to take part in discussion and organizational matters. And this leads to the second point of mine, which is to feel free to contact about your ideas and issues uh, at uh, the Easy Early Career Network Coordinating Committee. Now we have a Twitter account as well. You can find us there as Easy Early Career Network. And you, uh, you can contact us uh, in email as well at easil.ecr uh, uh, at gmail.com. And just to foreshadow some of our initiatives, now we are planning to send out a questionnaire to our members to see what should be the priorities for our agenda. And also we are planning to host a number of events, including uh, networking events and workshops and skill development seminars oriented to ECR related fields, such as on career development, research, publishing and teaching aspects of an ECR life. And also we are planning to host side events at uh, 
the usual easel events as well. And uh, we hope that we can see many of you in the future at these events. So feel free to contact us if you have any ideas or thoughts about the project.